Hi folks, Adrian here from Wargaming for Fun. Time for another unboxing and this time it's bolt action. You can see from the artwork on the cover that we're going to do the new armoured fury set from bolt action or from Warlord Games. That is the expansion essentially to their bolt action series that they did. It's changed the rules slightly or expanded the rules so that you can include more tanks in your games now rather than pretty much just the one tank that you could include previous. So, on the front, you've got the artwork of the two types of tanks that are in the box. You've got the Shermans in the front and the Panthers in the back. And on the back, you've got a typical um, tabletop setup there with two people playing and more details about the contents of the box, showing that you've got the rule book, the tank war supplement, uh, some expansion sheets, scenarios, and the tanks inside. So, let's pop the box open and take a look. Inside the box, there's a bag of dice. Um, you've got some of the order dice, three green ones and two grey. I would say that there are three Shermans and two of the Panthers. And then some normal dice or regular dice, six-sided for playing the game with. You have a rule book, shrunken down size from the hardback rule book that they do. I actually prefer these if you're out and about playing because they are easier to carry in your bag. Um, when I say shrunken down, I don't mean contents wise, the contents are the same, it's just a smaller format, the A5 rather than the A4, I would say. You've got a regular size um, tank war book, which contains the rules uh, for playing tanks in the new game. So that's all the rules that you need inside the box. There's a scenario set, which holds uh, First Encounter, Big Cat on the Prowl, The Road to Germany, and Tank Platoons. Now, having had a cursory glance over this before doing the unblock unboxing, I would say that this introduces us to the rules in a logical fashion so that you're aware of how to play the game and it gets more challenging as they go on. So, say you and a friend could play. Now, the box itself is part of the product. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by that, if I hold that up to the camera, you can see the card that separates the models from the books actually is a play sheet. So if we examine that, if I unfold it, on the outside edge we've got some rulers that could be cut out, some pin markers that could be cut out, and a play sheet which has the regular turn sequence of the game. Um, how the orders work and you've even got the weapons chart to save you keep looking in the back of your book. Quite a useful tip. How long it will last, you know, with all that heavy thumbing, I don't know, but I suppose you could always laminate it if you wanted to, to make it last that lot much longer. Useful and good use of the space. You don't always get that in boxes. Often you open the box, you get your product boxes in the bin. I do like the fact that, you know, on an environmental level, call me Know, a hippie but I do like it when everything's put to its full use so let's have a look at the plastic inside there are three identical bags of Sherman bits and three oh sorry two identical bags of the Panther now the exact model is the Panther Panther House A medium tanks um, and the, it's the M4 Sherman, you get three of those. So you've probably got three and two because the Panthers are slightly better, well, they are better tanks than the Sherman, so that will be reflected in the points, making it more of a fair fight. Uh, so I'll pop one of these open each and we'll look at it through the close-up cam. If we wait for the camera to focus, there we go. Working through, you can see the main uh, top of the tank. The tracks, if I put my little finger in there, you can get an idea of the scale. This is 156th scale, uh, which is 28 mil. Uh, there's the, the bottom chassis, some of the covers. And then we're onto the turrets, um, extras, tank commander there, and then the wheels on the side. If I flip those over, won't be too much detail on this one, because that's all inside. You're not going to see that. And then on the other side, you've got the wheel tracks on the side, the tank commander, part of the turret. 
So I do think that is excellent detail. If we have a look at the fit the guy, which is always a, a good indicator of the kind of detail that you get. I think that's excellent. Now the instructions for the Sherman are on the side of the box, the M4 Sherman. So again, making full use of the packaging to cut down on wastage. And on the other side is the Panther OS. Oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, folks. Panther OS A. And there's the instructions on how to build the Panther. So let's get the Panther out of the wrapper. Just to remind you, folks, you get three of those in this kit. So similar in construction, or similar in makeup, I should say, to the Sherman, in that you've got the turret, the top plates, uh, the wheel assembly, and wait for it to focus, the tank commander. And then on the other side, you've got the bottom part of the tank, the wheel treads, or the tank track, sorry. And then the top half of the tank. And just again, if I put my little finger in there, that gives you a sense of scale for the detail that's on the tank with the air vents down the back. Okay, so you get two of these in the box. And again, just to remind you, the instructions are on the side. So I'll put um, those bad boys together, put them on the spinning wheel, and we'll take a look at what they look like. Catch you again soon.